in this video we will be looking at the linear search algorithm. So let's look at the detail of the question. The following names of students are stored in an array with the identifier student names. So that means the variable student names, which is here, is an array, a single dimension array of strings. There are six strings within the array, so the array length is six, but it uses index positions naught through five. The question then asks us, describe the steps that a linear search would take to find Paul within student names. So the first thing we must state is we must start at the beginning of the array, which is position zero. Very important that. If the search item we are looking for is a match, this is the next thing we're going to do. So in this case, we're looking for Paul with at position zero, which stores the data John. So in this case, this is not a match. So we will move to our next position in the array, which is position one. We're now gonna repeat the process. So we're gonna come back up and ask ourselves if the search item is a match. And in this case, Yes, it is. So therefore, we have found the item and we should stop the search. Once we've found our search item, we would obviously stop. The other two situations that would stop a linear search would be the search item is found or we have reached the end of the array. So they are the two conditions that would end the linear search algorithm. So if we apply this to this question now, we access the student names at position zero. So this is our beginning of the array. This stores John. This is not a match. We then move on to the next position and we're accessing student names at position one. This stores the data poll, which is a match. So therefore we will stop the linear search.